Hi, I'm Rochelle and I'm out on Lake Ontario with a few members of the Marine Unit to talk about boat safety. It's Constable Rich Baker, I'm the uh, Marine Unit Community Service Officer. Tell us some safety tips you have for boaters this summer. We, we come alongside these people, they're not dressed appropriately, they don't have the equipment that they need. Um, the radio, so many people rely on their cell phones or the, the radios on their vessel and that unfortunately is not going to save your life in a, in a real emergency. For sure, life jackets, life jackets, PFDs, whatever you want to call them. Um, a flotation device is important. So many people go out and they have their life jackets on the boat and they're not prepared to have an incident happen to them so they're either the life jackets are stored away in a cabin or they're in a sea bag or whatever the case I mean, if you're gonna have the equipment it ain't gonna help you if you're not wearing it properly and some of the other equipment flares flares now are becoming sort of that a lot of people there's an argument out there that's saying why do we need flares when you're in a small body of water like this but there's still a distress signal that are useful in certain situations so it's important to have those on board your boat have them in a, a watertight container of some type um, or a, a plastic bag or something that's going to keep them uh, dry so you can use them if need them buoyant heaving lines um, exposure shoots you know rain gear that type of thing equipment that's going to keep you warm or is going to help you do a rescue or self rescue when you're out there very very important as well follow the safe boating guides that's the important thing too is preparation making sure that you have the courses you have an understanding of the water you check your marine forecast you understand what the weather's going to do but most importantly yourself that's your most important equipment boating is probably one of the most safest activities that we do across canada um, however complacency sets in really fast with boaters and that's when they get into trouble so just be prepared and that's another episode of how we do it tps please visit our website how we do it tps.com for more videos